Well, hello there, folks. How are you doing? It's lovely to see you as usual, and I hope that I find you very well indeed. So tonight for tea, we had this really tasty and very easy loaded baked potato casserole. This makes a wonderful side dish, and it's lovely the next day, or had as leftovers, or even for a quick lunch, you know, on its own. You could add to this whatever you like. I've used bacon and cheese and sour cream and chives, but really, Anything that works in a baked potato will work on this. So the first thing you want to do is get your potatoes ready. So I'm going to roast these ones in the oven. You can do these in the microwave if you prefer. I wanted the crispy skin, so I done these ones in the oven. So all you want to do is cover your potatoes with some oil, prick them with a fork and then whack some salt and pepper on there and just rub everything in so that it's nicely rubbed into the skin. Just like this, super simple. So pop these into the oven. They'll take about 45 minutes to an hour, you know, if you're doing them in the oven and you do want them fully cooked all the way through until they're nice and tender. But like I said, if you don't want to wait on them baking in the oven, you can, of course, do these in the microwave. I'm doing this for four people, so I've used four tatties. So while your potatoes are baking, you want to start doing your toppings. So like I said, I'm going to use bacon, cheese, sour cream and chives. So I'm going to use about eight slices of this streaky bacon, but you can use whatever type of bacon you prefer. So just pop it into the pan. I didn't add any oil at this point, but then I realised I'm going to need to use oil. So I popped a wee bit of oil in there as well. And I'm just going to cook this until it starts to go nice and crispy. This will take you quite a few minutes actually. And then once it was cooked fully and starting to go crispy, I just went through my bacon with some scissors and chopped it into small bite-sized pieces. Now you can either leave this in the pan or transfer it to a bowl. I transferred mine to a bowl because, you know, I'm doing the video, so I wanted it to look nice and neat and pretty. Once your potatoes are ready, get them out, but do give them about five minutes to cool down because they are going to be roasting hot. And then with a sharp knife, you just want to go around all your potatoes and cut them into bite-sized pieces like these. You can do them smaller if you prefer, but I wanted mine quite chunky, you know, for the texture. This is the cheese that I used. I used a combination of cheddar and mozzarella cheese. This was my bacon pieces here, all nicely sitting in the bowl. I also added quite a small handful of chopped chives as well. And I also used sour cream. But like I said, use creme fraiche or double cream or whatever you like. It's just so that it goes nice and gooey and not too dry. And I'm also using this oven proof dish. Like I said, if you're using more potatoes, you might need a bigger dish than I've got. So put down a layer of your potatoes and then half of your sour cream or your creme fraiche, whatever you're deciding to use, half of your chives as well, and then half of your chopped bacon. Now all you have to do now is repeat and then a layer of your cheese on top and just, you know, do exactly the same. So you're using half for the first layer and half for the second layer. And that as you done it is now ready for the oven and doesn't it look wonderful already this was absolutely delicious so you just want to put this into the oven for about half an hour on gas mark six just until it goes nice and brown on top and it's all bubbling around the edges because everything is cooked in there you know so you really are just browning the cheese and make sure it's all lovely and warmed through like i said this makes a beautiful side you can easily have this on its own but we had it as a side to our evening meal but however you choose to have it you are not going to be disappointed we had baked beans with this later on so i didn't want you know i didn't want mine too gooey but if you wanted yours extra gooey just add more cheese and more sour cream and it will be you know much more gooey so it's completely up to you what you do with this but whatever you choose to do do let me know if you're planning on giving this one a go because it is absolutely delicious just before i go i wanted to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my patreon page and to the channel members here on youtube as well and for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well it's all 
very much appreciated. Now we'll catch up with you during the week for another wee shopping unbagging or recipe or, you know, whatever comes my way. So hopefully I will see you very soon. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why not consider subscribing just before you go? And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, I'm What's For Tea 3 over there and it would be lovely to see you. So I'm going to go off now and wish you a wonderful rest of your day until I see you again. Mind to take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Bye now.